Hey, what's up everyone? Alright, um, this is Epic Graphic Violence here. So, right here, um, you see you have a Minecraft character, and, um, if I press this button right here, he moves and walks. Well, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do something like that. I'm going to be teaching you how to, um, build up your characters and whatnot. So, let's get started. Alright, so let's go to your preset character good so now that you have your character here you want to press this little plus sign after you press that plus sign all this stuff should come up so let's go ahead and label everything that's his left arm that's his right arm that's his left leg leg and right leg so you know I I didn't really na label them that much torso um I just you know typed in the abbreviation head alright so now that you have everything labeled come here and oops alright you wanna select your left arm and this button right here is the keyframe button and basically this is the key to animation hence the name keyframe so you want to key everything at zero so left arm right arm left leg right leg so what I'm saying is if you did not do that what will happen is <gasps> sorry what will happen is is um you will um, not move. You can't just click the character and keyframe. You have to select every individual arm and leg. So uh, you know that's that's what you have to do in order to do to do that. All right, right here. So select your left arm. Left arm. So now you want to rotate it. Make sure this green bar. You want to take this and drag it to ten. You'll find out the purpose of doing that in a little bit. So now, when you do that, you want to take your arm. Pre uh, you want to select the blue axis, which I think is the Y, and um, press Shift and drag it. You can use any degree that you want, but um, I'm just going to use a simple 25. So the purpose of pressing shift, here I'll show you in the right arm, oh yes, but here, now after you have it moved to where you want to, and you have the correct distance between your movements, press 10. So now if you did that right, it should look like he moves his arm. So when he gets to 10, he finishes that movement. So anyway, there's that. So the reason that you want to hold shift is that I'm not holding shift right now. Um, if the quality's too bad, it's doing decimals right now. So that's not what you want. So you want to drag that to 25 keyframe. So that's just the purpose of using shift. Now your legs are typically opposite, so bring that 25 back, and our uh, right leg 25 key that frame now you want to drag it to 20 so it's basically uh, 10 every movement and come over here left arm and you want to multiply the number that you used by 2 so I use 25 25 times 2 is 50 so let's rotate this here 50 key the frame now I know right now that kinda looks really weird but when everything moves at one time, it looks a lot better. So, break that. 20. Key the frame. 50. Key the frame. 50. Key the frame. So now, if you did that right, it should look like this. It, like, it should have that nice little walking motion down. Right now you're probably thinking, do I have to go through and do that with every single movement that I want? No. 
there's a much easier way for you to do this. Come up, select 10 and 20. Click control after you and hold it, hold it too. Um, after you have that, you click on that highlighted area and it should copy it. So where 10 would normally be uh, should be at 30 and where four, uh, 20 would be should be at 40. So there's that. After that, uh, let's copy and oops, uh, let's copy and paste that one more time. So uh, 1560, right arm. Move this, 30, 50, and 60. Uh, select it. Okay, so now that you have everything moved to where you want, uh, now you should have your walking motion. So after you notice, after it gets past 60, where I finished, um, it's, it just kind of pauses him right there. And anything beyond that, it just pauses him like that. To fix that, or either make your walking animation longer, but in order to end it, drag it to 10 keyframes since you last, um, since you last, uh, since your last keyframe on uh, walking left arm 25 key the frame right arm uh, 25 key the frame left leg so basically what you're doing now is just returning him to his original position and then keying the frame so uh, 25 and keyframe Okay, so now if you play it, looks like this. Now here's the really, really, really easy part. Making him move. Now, in order to do this, um, it's really simple. Key the frame at 0. Drag it to 10. Pre select your move tool. So you select uh, the red axis, which is like X or something. I don't know. I don't care. And um, you take that, press Shift, and bring it to 50. If you don't press Shift, it's not going to work right. Because if you don't press Shift, it'll give you decimals. You just want it to count by tens. So now you see, you drag that to 10. After it's moved to 50, you click Keyframe. And when you go behind them, you see this little line. Let's take it to 20 now. Drag it up 50. Key the frame. 30. Drag it up 50. Key the frame. So basically every 10 you drag it to 50 until it stops. Key the frame. Now 50. Key the frame. 60. 50 key of frame. So now take it back and you just draw it. So now you see it looks kind of awkward when he stops. Well that's yet again another easy fix. Select the character, make sure it's at 70, draw it another 50, key the frame. So right here if you did it right you should see all these little lines behind the character. So, um, yeah. And if you didn't do it right, um, there won't be that. Or what will, or, um, there will be like one here, then one here, but none in the middle. That's because you either forgot to keyframe it or you moved it, the, the little green bar too far. Okay, so now when you do this, select that, play. That's what it looks like. So now if you want him to walk with like a pickaxe in your hand, just go ahead, get out your pickaxe. So items, diamond pickaxe, come right here. Whoops. Um anyway, so go to this four view thing. Um so it gives you like this four-sided view and I need to 
rotate that. Okay, so now that that's at 180, is, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now that that's all good, um, you want to also rotate it down a little bit. Um, okay, so there you go. Now that that looks good, you want to select your move tool again, and drag it to the side arm say right about there good and uh... let's not adjust the height since the blue axis kind of shoots off that way so um... there so now that you have that pickaxe properly placed and you press play the pickaxe just kinda gets left behind in the dust well no worries easy fix Press the plus sign on your character and you should see all these buttons. So the pickaxe is being held in my left arm. So pickaxe, left arm, pickaxe, left arm. You take your pickaxe, your little pickaxe layer, and you drag it into the character and into left arm. So after that, if you did it right, the your left arm, when you press character, there should be nothing else in this area. Just your character. And you press and you press uh, the plus sign on character. It should have a plus sign here. And it should say diamond pickaxe. So if it doesn't say that, you did it wrong. So uh, come here, and now he moves with the pickaxe. So that's how to animate uh, in Cinema 4D. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. And um, like and subscribe. All right, guys. That's about it. Bye.